Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers and welcome to Women's View on Ahl Bay TV. You're watching Women's View live on Ahl Bay TV. Now today is a very interesting topic. It's about fighting the green-eyed monster which is tackling jealousy. Now jealousy is a big topic. It's a psychological state where many individuals um, go through and, is, and Islamically it, they say it's a spiritual disease. So today we'll be speaking about the jealousy. How do you tackle jealousy? Um, how do you find out or discover that you have the tendency of jealousy? Um, different aspects regarding that. We'll be speaking about the social aspect, the, religio the religious aspect. Um, so inshallah it will be an interesting topic. Now as always this is a live show. So if you have any questions um, you would like to pose during our live show today, then please do email us at womensview at ahlbait.tv. Um, otherwise, you can call us. The number should be on the screen. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, maybe have a scenario you would like to pose to us in terms of jealousy. Any comments, um, questions, anything you have, then just give us a call. Um, whether it's jealousy within your siblings, jealousy in a marriage, jealousy within um, other um, females, if you're a male, jealousy within other males. So, We'll be um, exploring all aspects, inshallah, today. You can also tweet me at Zahra Al Alawi. Inshallah, I'll be checking out any questions or comments posted on Twitter as well. I know we already have some of your comments which was posted on my Facebook and some on Twitter and through our email system. So I will be reading them out for those who have emailed us during the show. So let's um, jump right straight through our topic today. I'm your host, Zahra Al Alawi. And today we'll be Assalamu alaikum. Jealousy now. It's just such a big topic and mm -hmm. I think it's um, like I was discussing it with the brothers upstairs when I came in they said what's your topic? I said it's jealousy and they said well that's a human instinct. The one brother said that brothers um, experience yeah. jealousy as well and another person said they don't but whether they do or don't. But um, first of all to start off with um, how can we like how can we discover or that we have the tendency of mm. jealousy? Yeah, I think uh, that's a really good question. I think the brothers are completely correct. And again, we're no experts. We're just having a, a discussion and it's been great to get viewers to call in and share their experiences with us. But I think it's such a, a, a taboo to talk about being jealous and we think it's nothing to do with us. And I think sometimes we're in an environment, I think people say, oh God, it's not good to be jealous. But you're right, it's, it's part of our innate nature. We all have some proportion of jealousy within our characteristics and I think it has to be there to trigger other characteristics so I think first of all I think it's important for the viewers to say to kind of stay tuned just listen to what we have to say because I think a lot of people rule off the whole concept of I don't possess those characteristics I don't have anything to do with jealousy because they can't identify with it or they don't know that they have those tendencies so you are right I think we all need to be self-aware and understand Oh, do we really possess those characteristics? And I think, first and foremost, we all do. Mm. I think it's something that, from my reading, is my interest in this area, actually, to find that we do, as human beings, and I think sisters and mothers and women in particular, I think, mm. have tendency to display it more than the brothers. And I think with men, jealousy is a part of kind of them being competitive and having that kind of strive to pers yeah. um, progress in life. But I think you have to ask yourself, what emotions do you have when you see someone who perhaps has something that you want? And I think just understanding if you have the um, have that capability of kind of stepping the line between I want that, whereas as opposed to I wish you didn't have it. Mm. And I think I was discussing this greatly with my husband. I'm saying, you know, how can you understand if you're jealous? And he couldn't relate to the way the, the females relate mm. see it because uh, as females we. There's so many different things, you know, some people want children, some people want to get married, yeah. they want the right spouse. And then it's good to have those desires, but it's when it stops being a desire and says, I wish I had that instead of you. Mm. And I, I think if you just do that quick calibration check, is there any, at any time that potentially I would want that? Mm. And I think that's when you think, well, actually, I, my, my jealous characteristic, je yeah, those tendencies are sometimes overpowering. Mm. So I don't know, I think as, as females, we, can, we all desire to have you know, something, maybe it's material um, or a, a social circle or um, cars or I don't know, things like that. But then you have to really think that, are you happy for that person to have it? Yeah. Or do you wish that you had it? I think you, you struck on a very interesting point because sometimes I think not all types of jealousy is bad. Mm -hmm. And that's what people think. It's just like, you know, as soon as you say jealousy, they just automatically negative. think of the negative yeah, connotations yeah. attached to jealousy. I think, for example, there is positive um, jealousy and there's negative. If mm -hmm. you see one individual and you wish that they are deprived from yeah. from that blessing that ha they have, whether it's talent, success, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. anything, if you d you wish that they're deprived from it, then that's 
the type of negative jealousy. But if you see someone, I, you know, sometimes I see someone who's, um, you know, for example, if they're more knowledgeable than me, they have a better job than me. I'm like, you know, I'm really happy that they have that blessing, but I want to strive towards getting that as well. And yeah, when you're happy for the other individual, but then it motivates you to become like that as well. I think that's a, that's the positive type of it. Um, uh, definitely. And then you've, you've str I think something that I, I can completely relate to because I think it would be unfair to say no one ever wants anything more than they yeah. already have. And that's the purpose of life. I think we want to excel. But I think also you need to, to understand that sometimes, uh, and just going to the bare basics, we all have different components of our characteristics. So you're, some people are very calm, patient, giving. Mm. Um, they, are, um, they can accommodate for other people or they're kind. Or they're, some people can get angry or they have a dominant character. And they all need to, they need to find balance. Yeah. If I was a pushover, if I was a walkover, I wouldn't ever get anywhere in life. And yeah. uh, that would be the, the dominant characteristic that I possess. Mm. And the same way with jealousy. But I think with, with being jealous, if, it, if you don't control it, it goes well out of proportion yeah. and it dominates who you are and I think even Islamically we know that and like you said um, Imam al Islam, it's something that I would never forget one of his quotes is that the jealousy is a butcher of your soul mm -hmm. so if you let that that component get too big it becomes who you are Definitely. and then it leads to insecurity doubt distrust um, like you said um, sibling wars within siblings war within family friends it can it, I think it's disastrous but going going to that extent but yes, you know, in the right quantity, it can be healthy competition. Yeah. It can be, oh, I, I like the way you um, adhere to your job. I wish that, inshallah, I can be like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's turning it around and giving it a positive that's spin. Positive, positive, yeah. And I don't think, I think some, first of all, you need to address it, understand that maybe, you know, you are the kind of person who probably wants a bit more and just being aware of it. And like you said, giving it a positive spin because mm -hmm. um, it can really take over and make you really insecure and unhappy. Definitely, yeah. That, you know, like we see in a hadith, jealousy is very destructive. It can destroy an individual. But with the positive aspects, then it's good. In terms of those who have tendency of being jealous, should they accept that tendency of being jealous and deal with it? If so, like, how, how would they be able to that's do that? Oh, that's an excellent question. And I think, I don't mean to trivialize the situation. I, I, I apologize if anyone thinks I am. But I think this is... Um, to do with your nafs, you really have to fight your nafs, and it's the most hardest thing yeah. that to do. I know yeah. Islamically, it's something that we, we're told to control our nafs, and this is a massive part of it, because you have to accept that as human beings, like the brothers had said, this is, this is who we are, I mean, there's, yeah. no, there's no other way around it. Let's yeah. accept it. I think for, for I'm going to be biased and talk about sisters here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sometimes I think we have more of a tendency to have, Be jealous. I think so, and so you first of all accept that maybe this is the way you behave towards something that you don't have, something you want. Um, but then it's when you deal, what the part with dealing with it is so important. I, I know, again, not to trivialize it, but reciting Quran, understanding what Allah's blessed you with. Mm -hmm. I know that I was reading um, Surah Nasai yesterday, and, and something that kind of struck with me was there's an ayah in there, I can't remember, I think it's in the 100 region, that says, you know, be, great, be grateful to Allah, to what, what He's given you. Mm -hmm. He knows best who to give to whom, and don't be envious of someone who has more than you. And I think that is key because unless you have to appreciate that everything that we have is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave us what he, what he wanted us to have. Ask for more. That's true. Um, and I think things like that really help you build your nafs, build the, your characteristics. And do you know what I think? When you come across someone who's confident and happy, and that is so beautiful, and you feel like, I want to be like that. And you can see that gnawing within them. And then you compare it to someone who's unhappy with what they have or has inclinations to be more jealous than others. You see that as well. If, yeah. if you can see it in their face. So it's when you fight it and you, you understand it mm. is when it makes you strong. And I, you know, let's say what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And it's every time. And I think you know, Islamically, we're, we're told to fight those characteristics. And it's when we do that we become the better person. That's true. It's someone told me this once. They said, you know, um, the grass is always green on the mm -hmm. other side. Everyone thinks that the grass is green on the other side when. You know, when it's probably, you know, they said that people always think the grass is greener on the other side, but they haven't even looked what they have. They always look at what others have, for example. I think many people think, you know, that person's successful, they're beautiful, they have a husband, they have, I don't know what they think. Beauty, but then, wealth. Beauty, yeah. wealth. But then they don't look at the blessings mm. that they have. Oh and, you know, so I think every individual has so much blessings within themselves that the other individual doesn't have. And sometimes that you look at what the other person has and you don't look at what Allah has blessed you with. And I think that many people that begin to do that, then, they, the, then, they, then the jealousy aspect 
is a spiritual disease within them because mm -hmm. then they'll be envious and when you have envious you perform high hasad mm -hmm. hasad is very destructive so one thing leads to another yeah. which is, becomes very destructive and it mutilates who you are it just breaks you up and and I, I've just even observing I think a lot of maybe even sisters could call in and share the experiences of being on the receiving end yeah. it's so uncomfortable when yeah. you know that someone is not happy for what you have yeah. uh, being a, just being a victim of that how unhappy that I'm sure we've all experienced it in different ways mm -hmm. and you feel sad for the other person so I think that's the other thing maybe I, we should touch on is that feeling you know don't if you are in receipt of people's jealousy or you feel like they're being destructive towards you who you are maybe kind of repeat and uh, responding in kindness mm -hmm. and I know you know we've that's got yeah. we've got that with those examples in, in history and it's, of course with our imams may Allah bless them that to just try to be patient and respond in kindness because Allah knows best and, and it's a case of sharing your thoughts as well and your stories, maybe making the other part, party be aware of what, how they make you feel. Mm -hmm. Because it's nothing worse than, especially in your family, yeah. two sisters being rivals. That, that, that will destroy a family structure. Yeah, yeah. And it exists. It, it has been previously as well. It's, I remember a hadith beautifully by Imam yeah. Ali. Um, he talks more about the envious aspect of an individual rather than the jealousy. You know, envy is more destructive. He says that um, envy is a trap of shaitan. Mm. So once someone becomes envious of another individual, then they are in shaitan's trap. And one thing leads to another, mm. and it can become destructive. I know we have some comments posted, if you don't mind. It's nice to know what everyone thinks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, this is posted on my Facebook for those who do wish to read the other comments. Then you can just log on. Now, this sister said that she isn't... Um, let me just find her comment. Okay, I, I, I'll look for a comment. I don't know where it went, um, but we do have a call on the line, so we'll take that call first, and then I'll try to find her message and come on. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, sisters. Wa alaikum salam, sister. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I want to talk about jealousy within a marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I think, uh, my opinion, I think it's okay to be jealous within a marriage, um, but to a certain limit. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, well? we can hear you beautifully, yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. That's a good point. It's just elaborate for us. I think the lines, I know the brothers told me the lines are not working properly, so it's Fortunately, you have that question. Huh? Uh, I think fortunately, you have that point. I think it's yeah. interesting. Um, I wonder why um, the sister believes that, and maybe you, I can ask you if what you, what you think, and I can give you my opinion. Yeah, the, the call is weak. If the sister calls back, because it seems like the caller broke up. So, um, you said... I think it's interesting to know why the sister believes so. I, I'd be interested to know. Yeah. There's, you know, Nash talking about um, jealousy and marriage, um, there's a hadith that I, I read, um, and it said that, you know, people can argue whether this, this hadith is strong or weak, or whether it is or not, but it is narrated within our books. So um, the hadith says that the man's jealousy is, um, is a display of his iman, whereas a woman's jealousy is a display of, um, it can lead to kuf, basically. So in the hadith it we? says that the man's jealousy is positive, whereas a woman's jealousy is negative and it can lead to destruction. So I don't know if this shows that the woman's more, her jealousy is more destructive, destructive in a sense, because when she does become jealous, then it could lead to other aspects as well. But it was interesting. I want to know what the sister was going That's to say in terms point. of jealousy within a marriage because I think it's so much. I know we received an email as well this morning regarding jealousy in a marriage. I don't know if it was the same sister that... Um, I think it's fascinating. Let me just read the email that we received. Um, this was an email that we received um, when the show was, ad was advertised mm -hmm. online. It's very interesting. It says, Salaam Alaikum. I love the show on um, jealousy. I had many questions regarding this topic in terms of jealousy within a marriage. I was married one year ago and it wasn't as I thought it was. When I got married, I was very jealous of anyone that spoke to my partner and all the females around my partner. Mm -hmm. My partner works in a workplace where majority of them are non-Muslims, majority of them dress up. Gosh. And when I go out, I wear full hijab, so I feel very cautious mm -hmm. around them. What shall I do? I feel like this is breaking up my marriage and it's making problems between us. Every time I see him at work, it leads to an argument and we start oh, arguing. Please do advise me on what to do. Um, Sister Mariam from the USA. Oh my God, I love this question. Yeah. <laughs> now, when I read that, you know, when the sister said marriage, 
I mean, jealousy with the marriage. What would you say to your sister? I, I think it's a great question. And I think, again, I don't want to trivialize things and make them sound really easy because they're not. And I've spent probably, this has been something that I'm, I understand because I think, I could, I'm going to be completely honest, I think I have tendencies to be um, wanting to know what's going on in my marriage. And I think that's, that's perfectly acceptable. But it's when you don't control it. And I think the sister, there's a few things I would advise. And I think it's worked. And I know that a lot of people I, I you know, talk to have a similar um, insights. First of all, you need to be completely secure. Look after yourself. Make sure you're groomed in such a way that firstly, your husband has chosen you over everyone, and that's why yeah. you're married. So that's, that's number one. But I think paying attention to our grooming, I think some sisters get married and kind of not a bit more complacent with the way they're groomed. I think that's number one. I think it's important to adhere to that. Yeah. Secondly, becoming secure on who you are and accepting that you're, you're his wife and your position in his life. That's really important. Yeah. And I think recitations always, remembering um, and trusting Allah in, in, in looking after you and, and guiding you. And, sec and, and thirdly, understanding that um, if you don't trust, and jealousy can have a fine line and overlap with trust, you have to trust your husband. So the message that your husband's reading is that you don't trust him. Mm. I think subconsciously, that's what you're showing, that I don't trust what you're, where you're going, what you're doing, who you're working with. Mm. So I, have you got a call on the line? I think the call is back, but you mentioned some really interesting points. I want to come back to yeah. that in a minute, but we will take the call first. Um, Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Could, much better. Yeah. Could you hear us now? I'm glad to call back. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, sister. What, what would you like to say? Yeah, I just want to say, um, I don't know if you misinterpreted me, but I, I was going to say that uh, a bit of jealousy is okay, yeah. but when it goes over the limit, it's not okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to, Karen? Yeah. Oh, God, we've lost the sister again. The cool, cool. No, no, I can hear you. Yeah, go, oh, go ahead. Did you have anything else to say? Yeah, I mean, uh, I heard of stories when, uh, you know, people get too jealous and it even, uh, you know, causes murder and killing and uh, beating yeah. the other partner up. But I think a little bit of jealousy is okay. Jealousy is okay. Yeah. It's the sad that, you know, the husband loves the wife and he's you're protective over her. And it's the same with the wife, you know. I don't see anything wrong with it. Do you that's think, fair. Yeah, that's, I think that's fair. Do you feel like jealousy within a marriage portrays um, that the other individual cares about their partner? Does it show that? Yeah, as, as long as it's not too much, you know, you, as long as you don't become obsessive over yes. the other partner yes. and watch every step the per partner does and who the person is speaking with. I mean, if it's a little bit of jealousy, it's okay. I mean, I don't understand people who say, غيرت المرأة كفر. How is it? Why is it okay just for the husband to be jealous, but the woman, when she be, when she becomes yeah. jealous over the husband, it's like kufr. You know, I don't understand this. I, I think I've got a point with that. Maybe I can touch on it after you, maybe we can carry on. I understand what you're saying, sister, and I do agree with you. Um, but again, it's it's not as with everything. You have to be able to have that medium. I think just so long as it doesn't dominate who you are. Yeah. And then I think that is the hard bit. Yeah. And for everyone, yeah. self being obsessed with what the other partner does leads to lack of trust. And I say it, it creates cracks. So I think it's important, like you said, to have that kind of understanding of, of and self awareness yeah. in, in that yeah, relationship. Yeah. What would you say in terms of, I don't know if you read the email that I wrote, read out just before mm -hmm. you called. Um, the sister said that she is overly jealous of her husband who works with non Muslims and works with you know, people that do dress up around him. What would you say in some marriages that jealousy does lead to problems, arguments? Divorce. Uh, divorce even, I, yeah. I, 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 say, I think if you become too obsessed over your partner, it means that you don't trust, uh, trust yeah. them. And uh, you don't have a lack of trust. I mean, uh, you know, one thing that, you know, in our marriage, you know, my husband always says to me, if you trust me, you wouldn't become too jealous over me. And I say right. the same to him. So there must, there should be, you know, uh, trust in the marriage. Yes. And if it doesn't, you know, uh, if there's no trust in the marriage, that's when you go over the limit mm -hmm. and you become obsessive over the other partner. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with you. That's I agree point. with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think yeah, it's interesting insight. But then I think also, um, if you have those tendency and they're not controlled, especially in an, a younger marriage, if when you by the time you have children, you move on, you have neighbours, you have extended family, that 
jealousy will get bigger and bigger and be uncontrollable, which is why I'm suggesting yeah. that you are able to control it. Because what happens, and I, that's something I picked up, I was going to talk about, you know, having children. Mm. Is it because you want time with your husband or you want to control his time, or control mm -hmm. who he talks to? I think, again, you have to really, I know you said not too obsessive, but my question is, can yeah. you be obsessive full stop? So that's quite insight, I think, you can, I, can, I think you can be jealous, but not obsessive. Right. You can be a bit jealous, like, you know, but uh, not too obsessive. Like, for example, if the husband has, like, close uh, female friends, mm -hmm. it's okay to be, you know, a bit jealous, for example. Oh, I'm not saying it I wouldn't, I wouldn't in tolerate my that. Case. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's yeah. what I mean. That's, uh, that's part of being jealous. That's why you wouldn't accept it. I don't, know. Do to I don't know, sister. I don't know. Um, why should my husband have close female friends? Is the question. I think again, it's a mark yeah, of your boundaries. Okay, isn't it part of jealousy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We can have an offline conversation about this. Mm. But I think you have to mark your boundaries yeah. and respect each other's yeah. boundaries. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I think a bit of jealousy doesn't hurt. But as long as it's not too much and yeah. you don't become obsessive over the other partner and it leads to death or killing. I mean, I heard so many stories. I heard of, of a story, a, a woman in the Middle East, she got, she's young and she got married to an old man. And she, he always sees her going out, chatting with her friends and so on. So one day he followed her to the supermarket and then he saw a, a young guy holding the door for her so she can go inside the supermarket. So he killed her at the end because he thinks that, oh, yeah, she's going out with this guy. But why would he hold the door for her to go inside the supermarket? Yeah. So that's what I mean about being obsessive. Yeah. Mm. That's, I, think you, I mean, you, you can't become too much obsessive like this. Yeah, I think you made a very valid point there. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. I think she mentioned some very yeah. interesting points because um, in a sense that if there is jealousy within a marriage, for example, if the, it can sometimes protect each other from mm. committing sin. For yes. example, if the husband is jealous over, over the wife, then he'll probably, when she goes out, she's wearing tight clothes, she's wearing a lot of makeup, he'll be jealous that other people will look at her, so he'll tell her, you know, don't wear tight clothing because from his jealousy he wants to protect her. I think in that aspect, or like a wife doesn't want her husband to have really close female friends. I think in a sense you protect one another when you have that little ounce of jealousy. I don't know, Zahra. I don't think that's jealousy. I don't know if that's jealousy. If your husband is protecting you from wearing a lot of makeup, I mean, that's wrong, full stop. So he's protecting you. So I don't know if that's jealousy, if, if it's honour. Yeah. Let's talk about it later. I think another, we think we have another <laughs> call on, so we'll take that call. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam, sister. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you to you both. Salam alaikum to you both. Alaikum salam. I just wanted to uh, join in your program. Yeah, I you. had a very husband, jealous husband, yeah. and I was married for 30 years, and uh, my marriage ended then because of this problem. And uh, it, it's, it's a very true that jealousy can destroy your marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I, I agree with what, what other women going through when the husband is very jealous. Yeah. Yeah, so That's really it's very true, you know. Did you, I have a question for you, sister. Thank you for sharing this story. Did you, I, did you detect this early on in the marriage? Is this something that was obvious to you? Or did it grow with the marriage? Yeah, it was from the beginning, but I, I just gone for 30 years. Yeah. And then uh, after that, I and because it was uh, not true, it was very out of hand, you know, everything was very, very bad situation. The children suffer as well. Yeah. It's your problem. And um, I also have a son who's got disability. Yeah. So there was two problems together, mm. but it's a sad, sad, there was a very sad breaking marriage, you know. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Uh, sorry to hear that, Sister. And I do thank you for sharing your story. Just one question. Um, for those who are probably going through a similar situation and they're early on in their marriage, do you think there's something that could be done early on in a marriage to mm -hmm. avoid a breakup later on? That would be great advice. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. I have a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, I, think yeah. it's, it's I a can't great tell you anything because everybody's different case. Yeah. yeah. I, I so, some of some of the people are very extreme, you know. Yeah. 
to start, I, I don't mean to impose on your personal life and apologies. Um, you, you um, of course, can, can choose not I to answer. I just wanted to tell you, Kelly, this not, can be happen, you know. Yeah. Mm. You, you can choose not to answer my question, and I, and I don't mean to impose on your life. Again, it's a sharing experience amongst our sisters and the viewers. But what made you say enough is enough? Yeah, enough. Yeah, it, that's very right, because the children are suffering with oh. your problem as yeah. well. Yeah. So, that's, really that's the way it is. <laughs> Okay then. Thank, okay. You, so thank you so much. Okay. Good afternoon. Really appreciate that. Yeah, we thank you, sister, for calling mm. in because I'm sure that there's other sisters out there who are going through similar situations, such as yourself. And I think sharing your experience sometimes helps others as well. Please call in. Anyone else who's got yeah. any experience? I think we all want to learn, and I think lots of viewers out there want to learn. Yeah. Really sad story, and I think that that just confirms my thought yeah. in the sense that. You know, it comes early, but impacts so many people. Definitely true. I think we have another caller, but we have two minutes left. So yes. okay. I don't know if we should take that call or we should. Um, we'll take the call and then we'll, we'll answer it or discuss it after the yeah, break. So yeah. let's just take the call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu sister. Uh, just wanted to give some, my, some of my views regarding a guy's perspective. Sometimes when if the guys expect their husband, uh, their wives or any partners to cover themselves properly while going out around, so that should not actually be taken in a wrong way or considered as a jealousy. Yeah. And the solution which I would suggest, if there is some kind of this issue is happening with, uh, with any couple, okay. so it could be actually cured with more openness and more communication discussions. Yeah. Like sometimes actually the other person might not be looking at things from that perspective or uh, particularly getting jealous, they might be just saying like from their own, like uh, their expectations, which being a Muslim, like as there are some uh, things as well that uh, do not request any non-Muslim women be to cover themselves properly because they're not going to. So as Muslims, Excellent. just like yourself and all of the like our uh, believer sisters, they are expected to be covered. So yeah. if they, guy, a uh, husband or a brother is requesting them to cover themselves properly and especially while going out and about so it's not basically a jealousy it's just like their expectations mm -hmm. being I agree. more uh, believer yeah. uh, definitely okay, true that's all what I wanted to say thank you so much thank you very much thank you Completely very much in agreement with you brother thank you yeah thank I you. agree keep, keep up with the good work sister thank you bye thank bye. you very thank much you. bye um, take care. Um, I think beautiful words by brother. I know we have less than a minute left. Um, I really want to touch upon what the brother said and the sister said. And we, I know we have so much more to discuss, but we are off for a break, for a 20 minute break. Inshallah, we'll be praying. And we'll be back after prayer. We have so much more. We have your emails. We have discussions to talk about the mm -hmm. calls, and the li phone lines are open. So please do join us 10 to, I mean, 5 to 8, Inshallah. Well, we'll be back discussing more about tackling jealousy. So see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.